The next portion of our input screen that I'd like to point out are our options we have here. You'll notice we have in-out tracking, technology tracking, specification, parameter override, or automatic piece numbering. Each of these serves a different purpose. We're first going to show what in-out tracking does. Imagine we were to come and burn a fitting, like a transition. What I want you to do is take notice that the transition width and depth out is 18 and we're going to make it by 12. 18 by 12. If I burn this fitting right now and then go pick up another fitting, you will notice, for instance, rectangular duct, that the in portion of this is 12 by 12. Now, if I had kept in out tracking checked, for example, I'm going to check in out tracking. I'm going to come to finish lane transition and I'm going to make this 18 by 16 and then burn. You'll see the very next piece of duct that I pick up has the in portion width by depth 18 by 16. This way if we want to design a duct line in order we can just automatically have Practicam resize a piece of duct based on the width out and depth out of the duct before it. And here we will adjust the width in and depth in. Next we have a choice of technology tracking. If technology tracking is checked and we are working on a fitting, the very next fitting we decide to burn, Practicam is going to remember the material which will change to aluminum, the gauge, which will change to 10 gauge, and also the lock. So let's say we change this to a notch back lock. If I burn this fitting now and then select a new fitting, you'll notice that Practicam has maintained the material, which is aluminum from the fitting before, the gauge, and also the lock, which is a notch back. This, this way we do not have to continue to change our locks or gauges or materials as we work from one fitting to another. Next we have specification tracking. If this box is checked, it simply tracks the specification from the fitting before it. If we have finished length and we decide to put this under, let's say, 3 inch water gauge and burn it, the very next fitting we decide to pick up is going to maintain that 3 inch water gauge spec here without us changing it. This way we can continue to work through the same specifications from fitting to fitting. Next we have parameter override tracking. In the tutorial called designing a takeoff, we show you what parameter override tracking is. Essentially, if you have one of these override buttons depressed, as here we have them both depressed, as I burn through fittings, you will notice that those two buttons will also be depressed. So the parameter override buttons are automatically depressed. This way they don't change. And last we have automatic piece numbering. You will notice here that I have not adjusted the piece numbers for all of my parts and fittings and architectural items here. However, if I keep automatic piece numbering checked, the very next fitting I burn, it'll go from 1 to 2 to 3. So I can burn a fitting, and you will see that Practicam has now added piece number 1 automatically. We will press, you can see here, here's piece number 1. If we now decide to pick up another fitting and burn it, you'll see that Practicam automatically gives it piece number 2. This makes it easy for us as Practicam will automatically piece number everything according to sequential order, as long as we keep this box checked.